What is up, everybody? This is Ray from Rated R Reviews, and I'm here to talk about Brightburn's mask, the Brandon Breyer mask for his character in the movie Brightburn, okay? So, if you uh, might, uh, there are going to be spoilers for a specific, uh, well, for the, the reason why he has his mask and the reason toward the ending. The, the whole, pretty much, I'm going to ruin the entire ending for people. So, if you haven't seen the movie, don't watch this video, okay? So first and foremost, um, Brendan Breyer wears a mask, obviously to hide his identity. He's supposed to be the anti-Superman, the evil Superman. Superman doesn't wear a mask besides glasses or whatever, and, but he wanted something more, or at least the writers of the movie wanted something more, so they gave him a mask. Now, the design off of that mask, it's a lot of people wondering like, why does it look like that? Why does the mask look so weird like that? Why can't it just be a regular thing? It, if you kind of paid attention to the movie, you'd understand why the mask is loosely designed that way. Okay, the mask that Brandon Breyer wears is designed after a wasp, a wasp's face. Now it's done to the, the creative level of Brandon Breyer, so it kind of looks creepy and offsetting, and and it's just like a um, string is going back and forth, almost like a shoelace design for, for like your sneakers or whatever. But um, if you look at a wasp's face, a wasp has um, these these pincers that kind of like close, and they 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 open up. Um, one goes to the left, one goes to the right of his face, and then closes down with teeth, and then like these little spikes come out, and that's how they bite you. Um, so he designed it based off of a wasp's face. Now. If you don't understand why he designed it off a wasp's face, is um, because if you were listening or if you're paying attention in the movie, there's a scene where he's in school, he's doodling the the reverse B and forward B, almost look like a double diamond, uh, Superman-ish looking symbol uh, for Brandon Breyer, and which is like his call sign, and um, he's the teacher is teaching a class in science class. She's asking about a wasp. So when she asks him out of nowhere because she thinks he's not paying attention, he comes out and completely answers the question about what the difference is from a wasp to other insects and everything. So he goes off with this whole explanation about how wasps are pretty much the most dangerous, they're the most territorial, they can come in and conquer at any given time and pretty much slaughter the, 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 the weaker insects and take over. So by with him giving that explanation toward wasps, he's kind of foreshadowing his his coming out of superpower over well everyone else in the town or everyone else in, in the world so that's the, the 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 whole reason why his mask looks like that so yeah so that's pretty much the what i got from it he's wearing the mask to hide his identity and also the design of the mask is based off a wasp which comes in and takes over territory from other bugs and pretty much kills them off anyway guys um i saw the movie bright burn at least two times already uh, I might go see it a third time because I really, really enjoyed the movie. Um, a little bit of a slow burn in the beginning, but trust me, the, 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 the back 45 minutes of the movie are very, very horror-like, and you will enjoy it if you like horror movies. Okay, so this is Ray from Rated R Reviews. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out. Go watch Bright Burn. Give it a chance.